Hey guys, Ryan Bailey for Charlotte FC, and today we're chatting to the youngest member of our inaugural squad. It's Mr. Adam Armour. Adam, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very good indeed. All the better for having a chat with you today, Adam. I want to start off by asking about you as a player. How would you describe yourself as a defender? What should our fans know about you? Um, I think as a defender, I'm, I'm very aggressive. Like the last thing I want is, is someone getting past me or someone being able to, to beat me during the game. Um, and then I feel like I'm very versatile. I'll go forward, I'll, I'll cause problems in the final third, and then I'll be back defending um, next to the center backs and, and holding it down in the back. That's what I like to hear. Is there a player that you model yourself on or like a, a player you loved when you were growing up who you'd try and emulate? Growing up, I was looking at a lot of Marcelo, but he's very naturally gifted and very skillful. Um, and does a lot of things that are hard to replicate, but very entertaining player and fun to watch. And he's very passionate, which is what I really like about him. But more recently, I've been watching a lot of Alfonso Davies coming up from the MLS, playing in Canada. I've been watching a lot of him. Fantastic stuff. And Brazil does produce some very good fullbacks, so Marcelo was a good one to, uh, to pick up on for sure. Now, you're a native of North Carolina, of course, you're from Cary. How exciting is it for you to come to Charlotte and be a part of this team from the ground, from the outset. It must be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, all the family, friends that I've grown up with around the area that have been able to watch me grow over the years are able to continue to see me. And they're able to see me play my first professional years and as, as, a, as a player. So, I mean, there's no better feeling than, than being able to represent my home state. Definitely. And what was it like playing growing up in North Carolina? Have you got any advice for young players in the Carolinas on maybe what it takes to go pro, what kind of dedication you need? Uh, yeah, well, first of all, I believe North Carolina, some of the some of the most talented players. Um, but I think just keep working um, no matter where you play, no matter what opportunities you get, just make the most of everything. Make the most of every day in training. Learn from the people above you. Learn from the people that that you might look up to and just try to take in as much information and as much around you as you can. That's pretty solid advice. Now you're alone of course right now with the uh, Charlotte Independence. How's that going? It's been great so far. Um, a lot of good players that I've been able to learn from, a lot of players that have been in the MLS, been in the USL for years. So I've been talking to them on and off the field, just getting to know more about the game. Um, and then it's just been nice again to to get into the swing of playing consistent games because I was in Germany for last year and our season was canceled due to Corona. So just being able to play week in, week out, uh, it's been it's been great so far. And has it been great bonding with your future Charlotte FC teammates, Brand Bronico and Christian Fuchs too? Yes, yes. I mean, they make it easy because they're two great guys on and off the field, but. Uh, I've been learning what kind of players they are, stuff like that. So I think it's something that will definitely help us for next year. Definitely so. Now I was looking back at your highlights of a recent game against the Red Bulls 2, and there was an assist you played. It was like an amazing through ball, like messy stuff. It was absolutely incredible, Adam. I want to ask you, what's more satisfying? Is it when you make an assist like that, or as a defender, is it more satisfying to make a last ditch tackle to prevent like a certain goal? What's better for you? See, the old me would definitely go with the assist back when I was playing on the wing and playing 10 a little bit, but now I, I just feel like there's no better feeling than that, that last tackle to save, to, to stop a goal. Yeah, that's but, the mean, correct both, defender answer, that's great. right. <laughs> they're both great feelings though. Adam, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you today. I've got one last question for you. I want to know how important the fans are to the players. How different is it when a stadium is full and the fans are passionate? I mean, I think the fans, the fans make the team. The fans, as they say, are the, the 12th man. I think without fans, the, the team needs to look within each other more to get going. But the fans definitely play a huge part. And since I've been in Charlotte, the fans with the independence and the fans, especially with Charlotte FC, have been crazy. And I feel like that's going to help us a lot leading into next year, especially being a new club, having new players that haven't played together yet the fans are going to play a huge role. So I'm excited for next year. I'm very excited too. And you heard that fans have got a huge role to play in getting this team on in 2022. Adam, an absolute pleasure chatting with you today. Cheers. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it.